Hey everybody, Joel Goldberg, Casey Wright, hanging in his office, his big office, spacious office here at Chief of Staff, Kansas City. Um, I don't know if I even remember you. It's been a long time. It's been a while. It's been a while. We're all neighbors and all that, but uh, good to good to see you. Good to have you back in person. You know, the number one thing that I get asked, and this isn't the first time it comes in waves over the years, is when the Royals are struggling and it's been a rough year. Is how are you doing? And I'm like, I'm great. Now I don't have to go home. And, and we're an 0 for 4 or an 0 for 20 slump. But, I mean, there, there's such a deeper message, and I learned this over the years, that what, even when things are going rough, you, you still got to have high energy and produce, even if things aren't going your way. That's easy for me to do. I get to talk about baseball every day. Come on, don't feel sorry for me. And you got to grind through it. But how about in the job world, too? I mean, there's so many ups and downs, and, and you know the energy givers and those that can get through it. Sure, absolutely. I mean, one of the number one things I tell candidates when they're interviewing is just going with a positive attitude. You know, usually if you're looking for a job, there's a reason. You know, there's, there's something that uh, went wrong in your last job, your most recent job. There's something that you can improve, uh, you know, get into a better environment. But no one wants to, to hear somebody talk about sour grapes and all the, the things they don't like about it. Um, and also, when people are evaluating you, if you're saying positive things, they're going to evaluate you in a more positive light. So, for example, when you're asking questions, I always tell people, don't ask, you know, what's the hardest thing about this job? What's the most challenging part? Or, you know, what's the thing to be most concerned about? Ask, what's your favorite thing about this job? You've worked here a long time. You're obviously proud to work for this company. What do you like about it? They're going to evaluate you a lot more positively, for sure. People will take a positive attitude with the skills that can be worked on and developed versus a negative attitude, which is a lot harder to fix with perfect skills. And I see it so much in baseball, too, that, you have sort of the, the journeymen, the non-stars, the good role players, and when they bounce around on multiple teams, it's one of two things. It's either they've worn out their welcome because they're not very positive people, or what you see from some of them is they oftentimes end back end up back in an organization. Raul Labanias came back to the Royals. I was just interviewing a guy named Cam Maven who played a lot of years in the big leagues. He's a Tigers announcer now. He played for the Tigers three times. You don't bring someone back without them having some kind of positive influence, that follows you everywhere, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, obviously there's specific skill sets that you need for playing baseball and for any different job. Um, I have definitely seen the trend go much more to attitude and aptitude over just the exact technical skill set. If uh, you work hard, you've, you've got uh, uh, you know, uh, your wits about you, uh, there's going to be room for you as long as you go in with a positive attitude. Negativity is contagious, so is positivity, and people want to be surrounded with people like that. All right, how's the job market right now here in the summer? As hot as it's ever been. I mean, I feel like a broken record. I keep saying that, but we are nonstop, every level, every type of position right now. Um, they're coming in. Obviously, it's shifted a lot over the last couple of years. There's not as many fully remote jobs as there were two years ago. There's not as many fully in office jobs as there were was you know three, four years ago. A lot of hybrid situations. Um, like I said, though, I think companies now are, are looking for the right cultural fit, and that comes with the attitude uh, as much as anything. So the job market will forever go up and down and up and down. They're riding the hot streaks right now, but whenever that down comes or when you're up, the positivity is something you can always control. Absolutely. Control what you can control. Don't worry about the rest of it. We've said that before. Here he is Casey Wright. I'm Joel Goldberg. Stay positive, everyone. Thanks, guys.